Lorraine is taking us behind the scenes at uh, the Kanikanik Bakery this morning. She's showing us how they create a few of their gluten-free products. So you need to cook gluten-free and you're wondering how do I make it taste the best it possibly can be? Look at this. That product looks so awesome. So Lori, basically there's two approaches. One could be buy a mix. Right. So Knicknicks come out with a great line of gluten-free mixes to make your life easier. But the other way is using your existing cookbooks. I always say don't throw out your cookbooks. So you're going to want to use an all-purpose flour blend that is gluten-free to replace what your wheat flour is. So let's take a look at some changes and some tips from Lori to get a better end product. Let, maybe, how about with pizza? What do so, we do? So pizza crust, if you're making it from scratch, you're going to follow your basic ingredient. Um, baking instructions that are in your cookbook or you can use a frozen pizza crust and we always say to bake it for 10 to 12 minutes first and then put your toppings on it and that way it's going to be a crispier crust for you. Aha! Uh -huh. What about for baking in general? Cakes, cupcakes? So when you're making cakes or cupcakes I always say to hold back your liquid until you see the consistency that you're used to seeing um, and then go from there. Generally does it require more moisture? Sometimes depending on um, if you're adding cocoa and things like like that the same as gluten it's going to suck up more moisture oh, okay. so you're going to have to add a little bit more okay so let's take a look at repurposing product that already exists you're brilliant with this basket thank you so this is our hot dog bun so i've just <laughs> made a bread stick out of the hot dog bun or a crostini and it's just cutting it different ways drying it out in the oven and then we have our pizza crust, which we've cut into triangles or into sticks and just added a little bit of seasoning to it for your dips. Lickety split easy, but a really good end result. What about if you're baking pie crusts or tarts? So pie crust, there's a couple different ways. One, you can pick up a frozen gluten-free pie crust, or you can use the all-purpose flour blend again and use your same recipe that your mom's used for generations. So adding your lard to it or shortening if you prefer, um, as well as your water, your egg, and your lemon juice. Don't use vinegar, you have to use lemon juice for gluten-free. Okay, that's a tip, who knew? Now come on over here, you also have a website with lots of recipes. Right, so if you go to knicknick.com, we have over 350 recipes on that website. So this is a sample of a holiday appetizer using our existing pizza crust. And all I've done is taken some brie cheese, some um, pears and bruschetta and just um, baked it in the oven and then topped it with some balsamic reduction and arugula. That looks so good. Thank you for sharing some of your Thank knowledge you. with us. When we come back, we're going to take you into a store, the only one of its kind in the world. That and more in just a few minutes.